Eight Pacers set for the Saturday over. Here they come. They're off. 18 in commando left for the lead. Joined on the far outside by Fleming MN. Moving up along the inside is Grandmaster and then hard to mock around the turn. On the outside, it's 18 to take the lead from in commando. Gap of two up on the outside of Fleming MN third, then Grandmaster fourth. Followed fifth by hard to mock. Then it's two lengths back to Can He Go with three lengths separation to Rock on Mo. And last of the eight is Keystone Memphis. Shingra and 18 have the top. They dig it by two over in commando. Park to the opening quarter is Fleming MN getting the worst of it here. The opening quarter was 26 and four. A snappy opening panel there. Fourth and saving ground is the Grand Master. Locked in behind that one is hard to muck. Five lengths from the lead under a snug hole there by Brian Sears as they reach the top of the stretch. And then it's Can He Go? Worked the way down to the half-mile pole, and 18 is the pacemaker tonight. 18 leads it by a length of a half in commando, getting a nice trip behind this leader. Tough trip tonight, Flamin' MN getting parked the entire mile. Then Grand Master and Hard to Mock slips off the cones. The half-mile, 56-1. and one. Can he go? Is moved third over. Then it's a length and a half back to Rock on Mo. And Keystone Memphis has trailed throughout. They head up the back stretch, all in pursuit of 18. 18, the lukewarm favorite here at 2 to 1. In commando looms in second. And now Fleming has packed it in toward the inside. It's Grand Master. Three wide, hard to mock, starts to come alive. Behind that trio is Can He Go? Rock on Mo and Keystone Memphis, no response. Three quarters up at 124 and 4. 23, third quarter, 18 by 2. In commando, every chance. Three deep, went hard to mock, dropping back between horses. Fleming Men into the stretch. And the field tries to solve 18 here. 18's in front. In commando chasing him home. It's a gap of two to Grandmaster through the stretch. 18 or in commando left to settle the score. Here's the line. In commando in time. 18 second hard to mock was third. Go to finish. Well, you know, fashion two speed number in the openers and commando leaves, gives it up to 18. 18 was able to lose his competition a week ago, but in commando needed just about every bit of the stretch, but does measure it off late. And you saw, excuse me, Fleming M tried to leave, but as we talked about during the race, no room at the end, and all he did was prompt through very quick fractions and uh, gave up the ghost, but in commando, a pocket winner. Well, we said before the race the activity would come from the outer half of the gate, and it certainly did. There were two weavers inside of Fleming MN that obviously compromised that one's chances. I thought 18 put in a, a terrific effort. We're going to have to see the effect of the wind. It's a very windy here. Probably looks like they're, they're going into the wind when they're heading, heading down the stretch. Uh, but in commando, perfect drive by Mark McDonald, sitting the pocket, and went right on by 18. First and 11 on the season, but the horse has certainly paid his way since we've seen him between non winners of 12 and this non winners 18. The Camelot Gelding VIP internet of uh, Scataway, New Jersey. The Marks. Ford is trainer, McDonald is driver. Hard to mock, I thought, raced well. The very poor cover of the park got Fleming Emma did get into third. Unofficial, we're back. Back to the winner's circle to break the 0 for 10 drought this season from VIP Internet Stables is in commando. Trained by Mark Ford. Winning driver is Mark McDonald. In commando, pacing the mile in 153 flat. 